Dragon Skyrim. Get up. If you're into modding Skyrim, I'm sure you've seen some really beautiful screenshots. Because of mods, Skyrim is in a very unique position. At higher levels of modding, you are able to essentially tweak almost everything in order to compose an interesting scene for screenshots. There are many, many tools out there to help you do this. And today I'm going to show you how to use these tools to take screenshots, as well as showing you the basic skills you need. Veteran screen archers may also still benefit from watching this video, as I will also include advanced tips for making your screenshots even better. Also, before we start, I'm hosting a screenshot competition. There will be prizes, but more on this later at the end of the video. Alright, let's get into it. Setting up your screenshot environment. Make sure you have high resolution textures and models. For example, if you're taking up close screenshots of a character, make sure you are using high poly head and 4K or 8K skin textures. If you're taking screenshots of a forge, consider using HD medieval anvils. If you're taking landscape shots, use Dindulad for detailed backgrounds, etc. Also now is a good time to install any cloth or armor mods you would like your characters to use. And don't forget to build these in body slide. Additionally, you can also grab particle mods like particle field to give your screenshots some extra spice. Grab locational mods like Goma Paraland, Vigilant, or Aether Suite if you wish to have more locations for taking screenshots. Install tools like Facelight for face lighting, Jackson's Positioner to position objects, Add Item Menu for adding items, and Puppeteer Master for modifying NPC behavior. If you wish to pose your characters, make sure to install a pose mod like Poser Hotkey Plus with some pose packs. Get a good ENB. I highly recommend Silent Horizons as it comes with some really good ENB FX files that we can take advantage of later. Get the Freefly Cam plugin for ENB. It allows us to modify elements like field of view and roll of the camera on the fly with intuitive controls. Install Reshade. It will allow us to add even more post-processing to play around with. Consider scaling your resolution output. This will result in higher resolution shots and can tremendously help you when you are cropping in post as you get to keep a lot of detail. To do this, change your screen resolution in your skyrimpreps.ini to a higher resolution. I'm using 3840 by 2160, which allows me to essentially take 4K screenshots, even though my monitor isn't even capable of 4K. Also install SSC Display Tweaks and open its configuration file. Make sure full screen is disabled and borderless is enabled. Then enable the borderless upscale option. Console Command Basics. These are important foundational tools that will help you set up scenes. FOV changes field of vision. TFC toggles free fly cam. TFC 1 toggles free fly cam but also pauses time. Suckism changes the speed of the free fly camera. SGTM alters game time speed. This is useful for making it easier to pause animations just at the right time. TM toggles visibility of the UI. Do this before you take a screenshot. TAI toggles AI. It's useful for making NPC static. You can even do this when they're midway through an attacking animation, so they keep their attacking pose. TMM1 shows all map markers in the game. It's pretty useful for traveling to different locations, especially if you have locational mods. Set timescale to X. This is useful for adjusting time of the day. You can also use FW to change the weather type, but you do need the required weather ID, so go looking for weather IDs if you wish to do this. I will list some basic ones on the screen. Creating your screenshot. All right, we have a foundational environment that will allow us to take some good screenshots. Now let's cover how to actually do this. Before we do anything, first figure out what you are trying to achieve. Remind yourself that at its core, screen archery is photography. Think conceptually and try to understand what you want the audience to feel when they look at your work. Once you have figured this out, use the tools at your disposal to help you express your message. Set up your scene. Go to the location you wish to take your screenshot. Alter the time of day, weather, lighting. Add particle effects if you want to. Pick your subject or subjects. And if your subject is a character, give them the right clothes, pose, facial expressions, etc. You just want to set up a scene that lines up with your message. Positioning. Find a good position for your subject or subjects. And also do the same for the camera. For example, if you wish to make a shot of your character fighting a troll, spawn one. Allow it to start attacking you. Then midway through its attack, toggle its AI processing with the TAI command to make it static. 
Now you can let your character attack, and midway through your character attacking, you can enter TFC1 to pause time and move the camera around. Don't be afraid to play with differing angles or orientations, and try not to use the same one for each screenshot. Also now use this Freefly Cam plugin to change the roll and FOV of the camera. Altering any of these elements can change how your shot feels and the message it sends to the audience, so it is important to experiment around with them. Also, remember to keep things simple. Make sure everything in frame is part of your message, and if it isn't, remove it. Too much clutter will take the focus away from your subject. Once the positioning is down, play around with E and B. Try adjusting depth of field, lens dirt, bloom, lookup tables, bokeh, etc. Also, now's a good time to try out some reshade properties like sharpening and ambient lighting. Be creative and try to use these tools to help convey your message. All right, now stop and evaluate everything in the shot. If there are certain elements you want to change, change them. Spending time doing this can transform an average shot to a masterful one. So don't rush this process. Once you're satisfied, take your screenshot, then make some adjustments and experiment with different ENB, reshade settings, and positionings. Don't be afraid to take multiple shots because later on you can pick out the best ones. Refining your screenshots in post. This isn't necessary but some of you might want to make adjustments to your shots in post. You can improve your shot composition by cropping. An added benefit of cropping is that it helps you train your brain to recognize better compositions. Think of your shot as a whole and its overall composition. There are guidelines like the rule of thirds to help you start thinking about composition, but just know that these are not the end all be all. If something feels right, there is probably a reason for it you don't straight away realize, so go for it. Consider photoshopping elements of your shot to make it feel more balanced. For example, if there are bright colors in the background, you could desaturate them a bit to draw more focus to your subject. Now play around with adjusting the colors, light levels, curves, etc. These really give the finishing touches to your screenshot and can enhance them greatly. Advanced tips. Make sure you have baseline understanding of digital photography. You can try to develop your composition skills and learn some techniques. There is a massive learning curve to photography, and an important thing to realize is that whenever you're taking shots, you can't be thinking about all these techniques simultaneously. Of course, do spend time learning about them and practicing them, but your overall goal should be to integrate these techniques into your own intuition. So when you do decide to take screenshots, it comes naturally. It's almost like learning to play an instrument, and with time and practice, you will get better. Create a profile specific for screenshotting. This can save you a lot of time and effort and different profiles can use different resolution outputs. For example, my screenshot profile includes upscaled resolutions. So in this profile, it's running on 4K, but in my normal profile, I'm running on 1080p. All right, I hope this has helped you out. Like I said at the beginning of the video, I'm hosting a screenshot competition. The rules for the entries are, screenshots must be made in Skyrim, they can't show nudity, they must be in 16 by 9 aspect ratio, and the resolution must be at least 1920 by 1080p, and each user can only submit one screenshot. The competition ends at the end of this month. I will then select 5 candidates for you all to vote for. Each candidate will receive the Bonzi Buddy role as a reward. Then after one week, voting ends, and the top voted candidate will receive one free month of Discord Nitro, the Skuma Runner role, and their screenshot will become our Discord community server's invite background. Please submit your entries to the Screenshot Competition channel in my author category in our Discord community, Skyrim Guild. I'll link an invite to the server in the description below. Good luck. Thanks for watching the video. Leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video, and also consider supporting the channel on Patreon. Thank you all for the 4K subscribers. Take care, and take it away, Bonzi buddy. Maximum gains.